Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my May faves. And I have to tell you about my voice. I am not becoming a male. Actually, I'm coming off of a horrible cold and I know sometimes you don't like me to give personal details too much about my life, but this has been a crazy last about month. Basically a month ago, I got a little bit behind on my videos because I got an eye infection. And so for a week and a half, I couldn't make a video. And then almost right away, I went to Europe and I will do some travel videos with my travel wardrobe that's coming up. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see that, just click that bell and you'll see my travel wardrobe video and my travel favorites video. But basically, I had a niece that got married in Switzerland. These destination weddings are getting further and further away. It's a big commitment to go to a niece's wedding in a foreign country, but we decided we would make it a wonderful European trip. We spent four days in Paris. It was absolutely wonderful. And then two days in Monte Carlo to see the Formula One race. My husband absolutely loves Formula One European racing. And if he could, he would go all around the world to see those cars run. And then we spent the last two days of the week in Switzerland, in Lucerne, Switzerland, actually, at a castle where my niece's wedding was held. And my niece is Megan, and she's absolutely lovely. Here she is. I helped do her makeup for her wedding, and it was a wonderful, wonderful event. And about that point, a week into the European trip, I got a sinus infection and an ear infection. It wasn't that bad, but we decided that since we were over in Europe already, we would take an organized trip for the next four days of Switzerland which I don't know if any of you have been to Switzerland, but there are a lot of mountain tops, a lot of snow, a lot of ice, even now in the spring. And so my cold got worse and worse and worse. And this past Monday, I completely lost my voice, but I did start to take antibiotics. I know that's kind of a no-no, but if I don't, I will lose my voice for months on end sometimes. So here I am, and I did want to get this video made because amazingly, this weekend, I have to go to a nephew's wedding that is in Denver. It has been a crazy time, and normally I would shoot my videos on the weekend, which would have given me a day to get better, but I decided since I can't do it this weekend, I'll go ahead and shoot a video now, so please bear with my voice. Okay, I haven't been with you all in a while, and I am so excited to be here. It's kind of like you're my girlfriends, and I've got a lot of really wonderful favorite products that I would love to share with you, and that's what I always do with my girlfriends. Even before YouTube, when I would find a great product, I would be you know, on walks with my girlfriends, and I would share information on that product or that procedure, and so you guys are kind of like my YouTube girlfriends. So here we go. The first product I was actually sent Actually, both of these products I was sent in PR, but I was very excited to get this product because I actually already had it. I have been using this foundation on and off for about the past year and a half, and it is fabulous. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation, and I use it in the color 220 Buff, and this is the one I've had for the past year and a half. The one they sent me was a slightly off color, but those of you who have my coloring, this 220 Buff would be fabulous on you. They say this is a 24-hour wear foundation, and I've actually had it on since this morning, and it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and it still looks absolutely lovely. It's a medium to a full coverage foundation. For some reason, I was never able to wear the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think my skin is a little bit too oily for that. It always looked like a cakey mask on me. But for me, this is a fabulous replacement. It looks wonderful. And if you're looking for a medium to a full coverage foundation that covers what you need it to cover, but yet doesn't look like a mask, gives you a glow, this is a great one. Now they also sent me in the same PR kit, this little concealer. And unfortunately, this was a fail for me. This is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer in the color Universal Highlighter, I believe. And I tried to use it under my eyes for the past week and it was very oily, very greasy, and maybe that's because my skin is so oily to begin with, but this really accentuated my fine lines and wrinkles. I never could get it patted down with powder, so this would be a fail for me. Now, the next couple of products I was sent in PR, but they are absolutely fabulous, and you will see them in my future videos because they very quickly became my faves. In fact, as those of you may know, I've really been working on my brows, and a video is coming up that I will show you a fabulous brow growth product that has given me tails again, which I never had. And apparently many of us, as we get to be past 50, we can have kind of thyroid irregularities that can cause our tails to kind of dissolve or go away or become invisible. But even though I have used this product, which is wonderful, these are actually my brow tails that I have grown. 
but this product is absolutely fabulous. And as many of you may know, I've been loving the Benefit Brow products, and I've got three of those products. And amazingly, this product is all of those products rolled up into one. And I used this product on my brows this morning, and this is the Pure Arch Nemesis 4-in-1 Brow Product, and really it is 4-in-1. This is a little spoolie which is on the outside, and you just rub your brows up to get them in place. Absolutely wonderful. And then it has what I really love, which is this little triangular shaped head here. And I am using this in the color light because I am blonde, but this is even better than the Anastasia brow products I used to love. And basically you just take this little triangular shaped tip and you use it to fill in any areas where you need to fill in. I use it on the inside of my brows usually and also to give more darkness to my tails. And another thing I really love about this, if you're a blonde like me, is that it is fabulous at covering grays because I do have grays in my brows. I actually see one right there. And I just use this product and it is the perfect color match to color in those grays. Absolutely love it. And then if you're someone who just needs to fill in little bitty brow hairs and you don't really need that larger triangular shaped tip, look at this little tiny tip. And again, the Anastasia, I think it's the Brow Definer has the tiny tip, can't remember. But you use this small tip just to fill in those wispy sort of hairs absolutely love this product and this has become my fave. Now another pure product that I'm absolutely loving is the Pure On Point Eyeliner. And at first this product rather confused me because you open it up and it does twist here. And that's part of the glory of this product actually is that it does twist and I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. But the first one of these that I opened, I was really confused about how to get the little head up. And so I called my husband in and he pushed on this, which showed me how to bring the head up. But then unfortunately I broke off the head and I thought, oh my gosh, how do I sharpen this thing? And so then I realized that basically this little cap here automatically sharpens the pencil every time you open it up. So when I'm opening up this little pencil here, this is very ingenious, but it has sharpened the eyeliner point to absolutely the perfect pointed tip. And I used this pure on point eyeliner this morning. And as you can see, it draws the most beautiful line. And what I really love about it is that you always have the perfect tip because as we all know, sometimes it's very difficult to start this line and to make it be a nice, smooth, flowing, graduated line gradually going up. And this pure eyeliner does that beautifully. And as many of you know, for the past year or so, I've been using the Julep eyeliner and I really loved it. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm on my third Julep eyeliner and this has totally replaced the Julep eyeliner for me. And believe me, you'll be seeing this in future videos. Now that last pure eyeliner was about $19, but if you're looking for a drugstore option, which is also very, very good, this Avon liner is absolutely fabulous. It's called the Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Eyeliner, and it comes in many different colors, and I'll show you the colors there. Everything from a brown to a navy blue to a teal to a gray to a black, all colors of the eyeliner rainbow are represented here, and this eyeliner is only $7, which is a great bargain price. And one thing that I really love about this eyeliner, especially especially for summer coming up, is you saw that teal and that navy blue color. I think sometimes that's wonderful to give your eyes a little bit of sparkle, to put just a little teal eyeliner underneath your lower lashes. And I'll show you this here, and it has a wonderful tip, and I've been using it for the past two weeks in the color brown. Really love this one. Both the Pure and the Avon eyeliners are supposedly 10 hour wear, and I've noticed that the end of the day, both of these are still going strong. Really, really like them. So if you're looking for a drugstore priced option, this may be the one for you. Now my next May faves are Charlotte Tilbury products and the first is the blush that I'm wearing right now. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic blush and it is in the color Love Glow and I don't know if you can see that but basically it has the fuchsia-ish pink color in the middle surrounded by a little bit of a peach color here and I'm finding that is the perfect thing for me. As you know who've watched my channel, I really gravitate towards the bright fuchsia colors and sometimes I can walk around looking like a clown, which isn't good. But the thing I particularly like about this Charlotte Tilbury blush is you just basically blend those two colors together and the peach around the outside kind of softens that fuchsia color. And as you can see by the blush on my cheeks, it just gives me the most beautiful, natural, kind of spring pink glow. Absolutely love this. And if you're afraid of blushes that give you too much color, this one will give you a beautiful pink radiance without the clown. 
Now my next product is something that I've been so excited to get for the last couple of years and finally at the last Sephora sale I ordered it and it's another Charlotte Tilbury product. It's their Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. What a great name that is and here it is on the inside there. Absolutely beautiful natural bronze color with a great highlighter and the thing I'm realizing that I'm loving about these Charlotte Tilbury products is that they look so totally natural. And as many of you may know, Charlotte Tilbury has done makeup on many movie stars, on Victoria's Secret models. And what I'm realizing is that the whole Charlotte Tilbury line basically gives you a beautifully natural look, but it also gives you a wonderful radiance. And this product does just that. Now, first we have this wonderful bronzer and here it is, and it looks a little more glowy there than it actually is, but it's a very natural bronzy color. It doesn't have the orange tone to it, which I particularly appreciate. I have it on right now, and as you can tell, it looks absolutely natural. I've used it to highlight my cheekbones all along the chin, to sculpt the chin, a little bit under the neck, a little bit on the sides of the nose, absolutely love that color super natural you really can't overdo that color and then here is that beautiful highlighter and this is a fabulously natural yet radiant highlighter and i use that on the top of my cheekbones even a little bit on the apples of the cheek even used it to highlight my brow bones on both sides and if you're looking for something that just gives you that film star glow i can't think of anything better now the next product I've been using and enjoying for maybe four or five months and it is wonderful and this replaces my CoverGirl product I hate to tell you but I have found a replacement for my CoverGirl powder after many years and this is the MAC blot powder I guess I should open it up it is a pressed powder there and it looks just like that and I use it in the color medium dark I don't know why because I'm kind of fair, but the color medium dark just seems to match very well with my skin tone. I have a couple of these, one that I keep here at my makeup table and one that I carry around in my purse because as many of you may know, I have very oily skin even though I'm well past 50. So I do retouch up my powder around the noon hour. This totally gets rid of the shine, but it does not give you a cakey look. In fact, sometimes when I'm in a hurry in the morning, I use this instead of loose powder. Now my next two products I'm very excited about and it is the lip color that I have on right now and looking at my lips they look a little thin I probably should have used a lip liner but I did not but the first product is the Maybelline matte ink lip color and it is in the color inspirer and let me show you the little head that's on there absolutely perfect way to apply your color I'll go ahead and redo it again if I were daring it has a little bit of a point and I could probably go a little bit outside the lip line, but I won't do that on camera. So there is that lip color. Very beautiful color for spring and summer. I find that this is a universal pink that most people can wear. And over that, I'm using the Julep Lip Gloss, and it is in the color Vibes. And so I'll show you that right now. And I love these little Julep Lip Glosses. It has a great little head there. I just put that on over. That's how that looks. And I am still buying the matte lip colors, although I'm really starting to prefer a shinier lip because I think as we pass 50, everything about us looks a little bit drier, a little bit dustier. And so I'm really in favor of using a shiny gloss over our matte lip colors. And I'm absolutely loving this Julep Lip Gloss. Now my next products, I was sent in PR, but I was very excited to receive them and I have been using them this month. This is a brand called Innisfree, which is apparently the number one selling skincare brand in Korea. And I'm absolutely loving Korean skincare. It tends to be very moisturizing, which I think as we age, it's very important to add moisture to our skin. And this product is a sleeping mask, which is very vitamin C intensive. And they use tangerine as the vitamin C base here. And here it is. It's a very gel-like sleeping mask. And you just take a little of that at night and put that all over your face and neck. By the time you wake up in the morning, you're just left with a nice glow on your skin. It is not greasy at all. It feels more like watery moisture on your skin. And just like all vitamin C products, this product is supposed to brighten your skin and really create a more even skin tone by sort of softening the brown marks on our skin or getting rid of them altogether. And basically you can use this mask two to three times a week. And I was using it three times a week at first and then I cut back to two times a week. And though I really don't have a lot of brown spots on my skin, I did feel that it made my skin just look a little smoother, a little glowier. And they also sent me this Innisfree Brightening and Pore Caring Serum. And it is again a vitamin C serum which uses tangerine as its base. And there are no parabens, fragrance, or synthetic agreements in this. There's a look at that little serum. 
just a very lightweight vitamin C infused serum. Now they say you should use this vitamin C serum morning and evening, but I have just been using it in the mornings because vitamin C also gives you a little bit of sun protection. Now this serum is supposed to decrease the look of pores on your skin, and I have been noticing my pores shrinking, but my pores were improving as a result of an earlier Clinique product that I was using. So I can't really vouch for the effectiveness of this product specifically decreasing pore size, but together I have really noticed that these two products seem to be turning on the glow. Well, that was a look at my favorite products that I used during the month of May. And if you have favorites that you'd like to share, I would love to hear it in the description box below. In fact, I would specifically love to hear it because in the future, I would like to do a video where I go out and purchase the favorite products that you all have and give you my reviews on those products. I think together it's important for us to share our products and I think that would make a great video. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in seeing that future video, I hope you'll click that little bell and that will send you an email notification of my future videos. Okay, I always like to end my videos with a little thought for the day, and I've gotten a new card deck recently. This one is called, She Believes She Could, So She Did. And I absolutely love that sentiment because I really think that's true. Nine times out of 10, half getting there is just believing you can. And here is this card. It says, the big question is whether you are going to be able to say a hearty yes to your adventure. And that is from Joseph Campbell. And I absolutely love this card because friends, in the second half, the clock is ticking. Those days are going by faster and faster. And we have the choice every morning when we get up to say yes or no to life. And I, for one, have decided that even though it's a little bit risky sometimes to put yourself out there, it's important to say yes to your next adventure. So friends, just for today, let's concentrate on saying yes to our next adventure because when we do that, we can have an interesting, fulfilling second half. Take care. See you next time.